Greetings, YouTube. I'm Chunks of Earth. Hello, Mr. Heisenberg. How are you? It's very nice to see you again. You're looking well. I think you maybe have lost some weight. Maybe, could be, I don't know. I'm not sure, but you look great, and that's what's most important. I'm so happy to see you making videos again, and I totally understand the way you're coming from. Uh, and this is kind of when I went to the uh, food, cooking, science, environmental things. Get away from that whole labeling thing. So, uh, I'm writing this response video to Mr. Heisenberg. He's a very nice man. He's such a mensch. And he was a little confused, bewildered, befuddled about the atheism plus that manifested itself out of nowhere. And I'm in your camp, buddy, as I am in most things, except for the voting issue, but we'll talk about that at the end of the video if I remember. Um, the Atheism Plus. One of the reasons that, that I am an independent voter and I don't belong to many groups is because I believe labels tend to isolate people from interaction with others and that is why I have no religious denomination as well as I haven't heard a story that I I find compelling and, and uh, but also that I find that labels tend to limit your ability to interact with others so I'm none of the above just like in politics I'm none of the above and it allows me to be more comfortable as there's less conflict but there does seem to be a trend and Rith mentioned it in Twitter also that if, if you are unable to reconcile with these dogmatic beliefs that you hold so dear uh, if, if you find evidence that does not support them you dismiss the evidence or get angry at the people that are trying to educate you and I've had to change my opinion about many things and I, and I continue to believe that like science I will change over time as new evidence presents itself but this atheism plus thing does kind of confuse me and I'm not sure I want to be associated with similar to when Richard Dawkins Dr. Dawkins presented the Bright's model it was a bit presumptuous to label yourself something higher than something else or something that associates with uh, elevated status I, I don't when, when, you know it's it's kinda like Fox fair and balanced when you have to tell me what you are you're probably not so um, in doing a little more research I found that this was atheism plus something else you know, atheist is the basis that we don't believe in God Plus, we feel this way about women's rights. We feel this way about this and that. Plus, it's 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 supposed to be uh, a link, I guess, to to go beyond the atheism to explore new topics. But when you mention those comments of how if you're not in my camp, you know, if you're not with me, you're against me, and these are how I strongly feel. Yeah, that's as bad as any other attitude of my mind is made up and this is the way it is there are, there are too many gray areas and complexities to feel that way so I'm not sure I'll be signing up for them I probably won't I'll just distance myself and you did bring up a good point about the Thunderfoot free thought blogs debacle uh, and it, it does seem like somehow somewhere there is a breakdown and the relaxed rational attitude of of you know be be it as it may and, and we just accept things for for what they truly are has been replaced by an emotionally charged outrageous sensationalism involved in everything and I don't want to be a part of that either I don't like having my my emotions pulled around and me being stretched in different directions I, I don't like it at all so I dissociated myself from that I paid no attention the elevator gate was the beginning of the end uh, it seems to this this style of movement and I'm sad I'm saddened that
actually I'm, I'm not sad and I'm kind of happy because it does prove evolutionary wise that humans are relatively the same it it doesn't matter whether you're religious or non-religious you're religious or non-religious you're still subject to the petty nuances and the emotional bias that you feel through your experience through your wants through your desires through your environment all these factors tend to make you what you are and you have to have some level of it's almost impossible to divorce yourself from an emotional bias in some I mean that's that's what makes us human our emotions are, are very strong so in a way I'm happy to be human and, and I'm happy that I can't turn it off and be an autonomous robot like the people have claimed that atheists are I am emotionally charged about a lot of issues it's hard for me to not invest emotionally in things uh, but but I think this is another tool that the strongly religious will use to show that we're no better than they are and and our self-importance will lead to our demise like they do humility is very important I, I think this movement lacks humility for all the skepticism and, and freedom and reason there needs to be a bit of humility and humbleness that we don't know everything and as famous people have said when you think you know everything you know nothing or the more I know the more I don't know and, and to me that's a healthy label I am the guy that doesn't know now actually I don't, I'm not really happy with that um, don't label me don't fence me in man and that's the first thing that was, that was awful long seven minutes of that crap the second thing I, I wanted to talk about is the MRAs which I thought that was a video game formula like first-person shooter I thought you know MMO MRA I, I because it seemed like nothing but guys were really talking about it and then I saw a few women talking about it so I had to look it up and found it and even uh, the true puka I had to find out from him MRAs we say it oh, oh, male rights activists and I know one I'm good friends with one oddly enough in uh, in blog TV we brought up the subject last night so I'm gonna pursue it a little bit explore it and and talk a little bit about what makes an MRA and why the backlash all of a sudden uh, it's it seems it seems coincidental that we're dealing with rape sexual harassment and MRAs uh, I thought they were kind of a, a an offshoot of the TFLs the true force loneliness because those guys really had an issue with women but I'm seeing it as as not just that and and I'll I don't want to give any names on on YouTube unnecessarily without their permission but I'm gonna be talking about it more on blog TV with this person and seeing if I can get get an understanding and see where they're coming from because I love women and I find powerful women very sexy and through my research I I'm did uh, a minor in women's studies at my university I was one of three men in the honors classes of these women's studies two of which were gay and one of them wasn't me so fuck you um, not that there's anything wrong with it but uh, they they love me I, I really had a good time learning about the empowerment of women and how in first world countries that's one of the things that makes you a first world country is that when you put women in positions of power the quality of life goes up the mortality rate goes down the education rate goes up the, the things the society improves when we celebrate women for for their contributions when we relegate them to status of furniture and only necessary to breed then we we find the system fails and it fails horribly and all you have to do is look at the Saudi Arabian countries for that and uh, and various others but there there are plenty of societies that relish women and treat them the way they deserve and as but just before I go because I want to make another video but the last thing I want to say is that as an environmentalist a strong environmentalist women are intrinsically connected to the earth whether it be from the hunter-gatherer status of of our evolutionary uh, beginnings but one of the reasons I'm so militant about protecting the environment 
and you know my career in treating drinking water and 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 just all these ecological systems is that whatever goes into a woman's body winds up going into their children's bodies so if you don't take care of what you're feeding your women well yours that was pretty sexist um, take the yours out of if you don't monitor what's being fed to the people that make the children the children are going to get those poisons and those impurities so why not protect women and and make sure that their health welfare is number one uh, you can you can only benefit from this this activity I'm chunks of earth and so are you and it's so nice to see you mr. mr. Heisenberg please please say hello to your mother for me um, take care of yourself peace